to powder. But I swear to God, dude, the effects on the outside is like fucking opium. She, like, what? she'll have a bottle. She'll. Be oh, a you bit mean cranky. for the baby? Oh yeah, I, I won't fucking. I won't Are you sure it. you should be talking about getting your baby high? <laughs> listen, no, listen. listen, listen, listen. I don't. Know. I could have fucking pulled well, back it. a little she, bit, she'll here, she'll guys, and let you run away listen, with it. She, she gets a bit cranky when she has a bottle. You put this um, this powder onto her gum. She'll finish a bottle, bang out like a light. So you're knocking your baby out with powder. It's either that or what is this powder? <laughs> I can't tell is you. it SMA? Is it smart? It's not cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap powder, and you got to go to some weird places that's to do it. it. That's it. But um, but yeah, I mean, all in all, she's good. She's getting big. She's um, she's started to grow her hair back. She's got like a little like planet ring of hair on the back of her head. You know, at the side. Like a bandana. No, like like the fucking science teacher you never wanted that had just the hair around the sides and the back of his head. Oh right, they yeah. seemed to just dwell in his ears. Yeah, as if it was growing out of his ears upwards. Yeah, and the one like throw the uh, board rubber and shit like that. She looks like that. I resent her a bit for it, but she's my daughter. I love her. You resent? <laughs> I resent that fucking bitch. That's it. It's like. <laughs> I see her and it switches to uh, Mr. Jones, the uh, science teacher. Do you remember him? Oh, right. The guy, the guy with the I limp who'd hit you like Popeye. Oh, you mean if you smacked your kid? Oh, hell no, I smacked my kid. <laughs> I say, though, if, if she makes me upset, I hit Suzanne. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Clean, clean hook to the jaw. Well, that's it. It's like, you, you get, ah, bang. Fucking but yeah, I, I, get, I, get a bit, I get a bit quiet and out from both parties now, so it's a win-win. Yeah, so you're basically knocking fuck out of everybody in your house. <laughs> It's not a happy household. <laughs> it's not a happy house. So what are you moving on to next? You finished Deus Ex. You still live in the world of the Xbox. You're yes. not going to go back to PC anytime soon. Well, no, so what's next on your list of priorities? That, yeah, uh, well, it was going to be Dead Island, which was out on Friday. I was really looking forward to Dead Island. In a nutshell, it basically looks like a cross between Left 4 Dead and Borderlands. In terms of it's We had some good fun in Borderlands. Fuck yeah, we did. It was like uh, it's basically like a, a zombie horde, but you've got your uh, your four characters that have got multiple leveling trees, and um, but yeah, it, the best part is it's. I really like this about multiplayer as well on the console. Is it's jump in, jump out. You don't have to set up a game. You, your game doesn't immediately stop if the host stops. You can basically just put your game right. I'm playing it on single player, but I'll play it online. Someone else can join your game. They can jump out, and up to four people, like it's forecast. It looks really, really good. I've not had a chance to play it, though, unfortunately, purely because my game of choice for this month is out on the 20th, which is Gears of War 3, which I am fucking amped for. Is that the one we play co-op? I don't think you played it with me, Gears of War. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> no, it's basically... Uh, you're from PlayStation side. You played Army of Two with me, didn't you? Mm. It's basically the same as Army of Two, but a billion times better, a billion times longer, thank God. And it's just like, it's, it's, it's really fucking good. It's like the climax. It's the end of the franchise, and it looks really good, both the campaign and the horde mode. The horde mode is just, you know, like a wave sort of system. Yeah. But I think they've integrated, like, more tips from... Um, from uh, Call of Duty, like they've got a zombies thing on it where you can make, um, you can upgrade your weapons, you can build up uh, barricades and like defences and stuff like that, and you couldn't do that originally, but you can do that now in horde mode, like set up um, turrets and sentries and stuff like that at a cost where you, you get your points from killing shit and stuff. It does look good though, like, I mean, fucking hell. Do you play it for the story or just for the combat? No. The story as well, there's a lot of games, I mean like, I'll be totally honest with you, the only reason I played through the entire Halo franchise was for the story, I hated the games, I really did. You hated Halo? Yeah. I mean, that's interesting, I can't believe anybody would hate Halo. Mm. Purely because, it's, there's certain things, and I think it's, and I know it's, it's a bit fanboyish, I don't care, I fucking love Modern Warfare, and the things with Modern Warfare are the little intricacies, and it's been done in a lot of games, don't get me wrong, it's not Modern Warfare that's capitalised on this, it's like, Things that you take for granted, like you're running and you can fire from the hip, but you can aim as well. More accurate firing, you can't do that in Halo. Unless you've got a sniper rifle that you're zooming in, you, everything's firing from the hip, and I hate that. So if you're at a distance, and all you've got is a rifle, like an assault rifle, you can shoot and make like an outline of your enemy before you hit him. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so... But I just never enjoyed the Halo play. It was The, the storyline's amazing, and I'll be getting Halo 4 just so I can see like what happens, because 3's a bit of a cliffhanger. Um, was that ODST? Because no, no. that's what we've been playing at your house, isn't it? Yeah, ODST, well, that was like catching up when I first got the Xbox. ODST was like a, a side project whilst things are happening, I think. Uh, thinking back, I think it was... Oh, you can see the brain going here, guys. If you were sat next <laughs> to me, it's, like, yeah, it's like, oh, it's like, oh, God, that's the, the question. Yeah, you, play, you play the story of Halo 3 with Master Chief, and then ODST is basically orbital drop shock troopers. Oh, right. Basically like a, a team of people that take on a story, like as a side story from Halo 3, that's all that was. But, um, yeah, 3... They made three, then they did ODST as a side story. Now four is going to be the latest one next year, which is going to be awesome, hopefully. But yeah, um, Gears of War, dude. Gears of War. It's going to be amazing. The thing is... But I mean, is it co-op? I mean, what was the... Oh, Army of Two. Army of Two. Army of Two. That was fucking cool. I loved Army of Two. The thing with Army of Two is, 
I mean, I mean, it's, obviously it's dated now. It's, it was a really good game. The first one was shot. It was only eight missions, and that was terrible. But the actual gameplay, I love. I mean, I'm an absolute sucker for customization. And like, oh, things, really? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I, I, I think you off. owe me at least twelve hours of life having to no watch mercy. you edit a fucking character. Jesus fucking Christ! And watching this guy edit a character for the slightest detail is like tearing teeth. From a fucking dead body. That's nice. You gotta look good, don't you? Oh, you've just, That's it. It's a game. You, <laughs> you don't need to spend hours fucking. Well, no, it's like think about it. Today's day. I mean, when you're talking about the N64, completely offline, completely localized. You got, I was looking good for that, but now when I'm playing it online, I want people to like think, "God damn it, he looks good." As I'm beating the shit out of him. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> the irony of you thinking that somebody on the other end of being stabbed in the face or bulleted is going to think, "God damn, damn that guy looks good." Yeah. Like, <laughs> I might get killed. Ah, but those boots are fucking amazing. <laughs> That's it. Man, it. where do I get those fucking shoes? Well, yeah. Um... What is it? Oh, well, what about Battlefield 3? Battlefield's October blood. Don't worry, mate. That's in the playlist. But oh, also... Sureth agrees with you. Sureth, yeah, mate. When you get stabbed Fuck in yeah. the face, you don't think, Fuck, that guy looks good. Yeah, you do. <laughs> no, hey, I have never I've thought, Fuck you, man. You just shot me in the head. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's put it onto your level. When they bring the... Because I don't know when or how or whatever. The whole thing of... In Warcraft, when it's going to bring in the fact that you can customise what your character looks like. Don't... You... Thin ice. No, 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 no. Thin Answer ice. my question. Are you not going to customise what your character looks like? No. Bollocks. No, and do you know why? What's do that? you know why? If there's anyone playing this with you that sees you do that, screenshot it immediately because I fucking bet that you make your character look I tell you why not. Go on then. I can't. Why? Because my main character is a death knight. There is nothing for me to change him to. What are you talking? Oh, yeah, that's fine. So, I uh, fuck you, buddy. So, when you do it, oh. Ah, right. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? I've got well, I think so. Take the cock out of your mouth. Put it on the table. You've now got small balls. That's right. My main character is a fucking Death Knight, so I have nothing to change it to. What I will do, and I'll fully admit to, is I'm well looking forward to changing my warrior into his tier 6 with his big bulwark of Azanoth, because that looks fucking badass. So now that I've put that dick on the table that you've just admitted that you No, but not on my main character, so it oh, makes no difference. Them, well, I wouldn't kill anybody in my main character. Oh, on the, my main character, because I don't PvP with it. I think, well, that's it. I know, like, I've not seen none of the latest sets from the um, Cataclysm content or anything, but, I, yeah, we, we were talking about it, like, when we were shooting the shit about it, talking it the other week, but, um, yeah, I'd fucking just... I'd get judgement armour, and that's all I'd stay in for the rest of the game. I guarantee that every fucking paladin in World of Warcraft is going to be in tier fucking judgement, tier two. Tier two, yeah. The day... The fucking game, you know uh, the why? transmography comes in. I guarantee it. Yeah, it looks badass, but you're going to have this army of like fucking me. Transformers running fucking around. Yeah. It's going to look fucking ridiculous. But well, that's just adding to it. Transformers fucking rock. I know, but it's just going to look shit, man. It's what like, because it's so fucking overused. Okay. You know why Tier 2 is so awesome? It's barely anybody raided Blackwing Lair. Yeah, yeah. It, it was pretty fine, fucking hard man. to get into there. So when you saw a rogue with like full blood fang or full judgment armor, you thought, that guy's fucking sweet. Yeah. And now... It's going to be every fucking mongoloid who can solo Blackwing Lair is going to be wearing that fucking shit. I don't think they can get the helmets anymore because Anixia's out of the game. What? Yeah, Anixia was changed, wasn't she, in Wrath of the Lich King? So I don't think you can get the original helmet anymore. Oh, shit, yeah, she was. So, you bought, so you'll have people... All because the cool people will have a helmet. No, do you know what I mean? That's, that's it, what's no, going to be there. It, yeah. The cool people will fucking have it. Oh, do you know what I'd do, though? I'd fucking take the piss. I'd go for... Um, I can't remember what tier it was, but the gay pink Robocop armour. Tier 5. I'd rock I that think shit. that's tier 5. With Out the crystals irony. and shit all over yeah. it. The sh- the everything like... what the I can remember on my... Oh shit, I'm burping. My oh man, that was right in my face. <laughs> Enjoy. Did you go down on Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck's an Ellen DeGeneres? That, that uh, lesbian fucking muff diver with proper fucking... <laughs> <laughs> really sell it. Really sell No, she did. She ate the beef. But yeah, I did. Peeing my teeth. Oh, sorry, no. I just got the tuner right well, in the The thing is, like, you, t- you take the armor set, and I can remember, because I didn't get that, because I was PvP at the time, but the PvP version of it, go Spartan Gear, fuck yeah. Oh, man, oh, Untrill, that was a fucking... If I could high-five amazing. you across the fucking ocean right now... That was now, it, like, bit of a backstory. is basic, when we was in um, uh, the Burning Crusade, I when they first brought Blood Elves in, I had a paladin, and I basically kitted him out to, like, a Spartan, and I just... Turn up to raids looking like it. It was fucking epic. But all you had on, this is your Spartan no. armor, right? This is it. You had a red cape, yeah, a thong, yeah, and a shield. No, it was a fucking Spartan. It was armor. a Spartan hat with the fo- well, hat. It was a helmet with the, like the lion's mane top. I had like the sword, which was the exact shape of a Spartan sword. The only thing, and it was my fucking bane, 
was the shield never dropped from chess. Do oh, uh, the chess in Karazhan? Yeah. Every fucking time. People like, there was fucking like shamans taking it as well and shit like that because it had dropped for them never fucking once in years of raiding that bastard place did I get the shield. <laughs> I feel like a proper shitty blue shield. <laughs> I look to the bars and there'd be like a fat cow next to me with that shield. Did you ever get a spear? Fuck yeah, I got a Did spear. you get a lance? Well, that's it though. You can't have a shield with the lance. It was like, it was a Spartan sword. Oh, right, because it was a 2 H. Ah, yeah. so you got royally In fucked. Your face. Yeah, but the Spartan armour, it was funny. Don't get me wrong. It was good. I enjoyed it. It was the fucking funny. It was just a bit annoying when like you'd, you'd make a pun and I'd still be stood there in, in combat and couldn't change over. <laughs> I tell you what, I felt so motivated going into combat with a Spartan. That's it. You were leading That's the it. fucking charge, man, and that I was had, what... I had a fucking picture, and I've still got it on my computer, basically. Whoever was in the raid at the time, all kneeling before me, I'm stood on a step giving a big speech to them. Oh, give me that screenshot, I'll upload it in a video. Holy, holy, but do you know what it reminded me of? That video, that champion's like motivational speech, remember it? You know how fucking old that is? I had never heard it before. Really? Yeah, and you said, uh, you said, yeah, it's old as fuck, but that speech, I swear to God, I could have gone out and taken down the entire Viet Cong fucking army after watching oh, that good. video. Oh my God. I sat there in work and like the fucking desk was vibrating with my pure like rage and adrenaline. I know, that like, guy is so intense. What's the, do you remember the name of the video? Just in it's case just like, oh, we are champions or I am a champion or something like that. I am yeah. a champion speech, something like that, but fucking hell. Do you know what makes that though? It's like someone's put a score in the background like it's like a big brave heart build up towards it. Oh, like, the music? Yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's fucking, fucking really awesome. good, man. That's it, oh yeah, Blubs yeah, knows it. Blubs knows it. <laughs> Fuck it. And what's up, Zephax, welcome to the stream, matey. Thanks for joining in. Well, yeah, um, what else are we talking about now? We'll take yeah. questions in about five minutes, guys. We're going to take a break in about four, three minutes and 50 seconds, and then we're going to come straight back. What, what, what? latest videos on your channel? Oh, yeah, guys, if you don't know who I am and you tuned in randomly because you found us on Twitch TV, I I'm Preach from the YouTube channel Mike Preach Wow. Uh, basically, it's every class guy for every single spec run down by me. Um, I, I should have mentioned this probably about 30 minutes ago, but that's Idiot. just the fucking way we roll. <laughs> so fortunate for that. Yeah, check it out. Might preach wow at YouTube. Uh, basically, every video you can imagine. I'm a high-end raider. Uh, got some nice top world, world first DPS and some world top tens and some various bosses. Go and check it out. Playing every class, answering any questions you guys want. So check that out. It's fucking funny. Uh, and basically, uh, I even showed myself this week. Big fucking moment. I revealed. I saw it. I came out of the closet. The internet closet. Nice. No, nice. I wasn't. I wasn't uh, sucking the junk. But well, just, you are digitally because you've just said that you came out of the internet closet. It's the problem with having a microphone that looks like some junk. Is <laughs> that I can't help but feel I'm junking my fucking stuff. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I was prepping for Max, like you ugly fuck. You know when you upload something like that, and I remember I was prepare. emailing you at the time because uh, we were talking about some ideas for Project Serum, yeah. which we'll talk about a little bit later. But we were talking about some ideas for Project Serum, and I said, oh, I've just done the fucking video where I show myself for the first time. So I'm waiting for, like, epic fucking you ugly bastard jokes, because I'm really, like, ashamed of my ass face. You know, my face ass. Oh, yeah. you so got a fucking ashtray on your chin. I've got an ashtray on my chin. I've got a full-on face ass. <laughs> and uh, it's even got hair coming out of it, so it's genuine. Dude. It's legit. It's a fucking gooch. <laughs> it's a gooch. You've got a gooch on the bottom of your head. <laughs> it's a full-on fucking gooch. Tell that guy clenched with sensor his chin, it looks like balls. <laughs> It's not that bad, but when I was in the fucking... It was like 6am. Yeah. I'm about to drive all the way to another uh, another country within the you UK. You went to Wales, didn't you? I went to Wales. We call it a country, but it's technically the biggest county in England. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I tell you what, you say that to a Welsh person, you have to get out of the country immediately. Really? Yeah, because they fucking hate us, man. They hate us so bad, the Welsh <laughs> guys. And then it's like... Uh, I'll fucking... You know, I walk in, and if I'm not going to get the deal from the day job, and I feel the deal's going badly, I'll say, well... You should just be proud that you're part of the biggest county in England. That's right. Something, I just dropped that bomb on them, and then they've got to get out of the country. I've got a tear ass. Do you know what you should do at the end of that? Just, like, light on the mood. Is throw that bomb say, like, well, you should be happy that you're part of, you know, you know the Queen's. The Queen's. Like, but then, like, when everyone <laughs> falls silent, throw your hand up and then move around like you're looking for a high five. Like, yep, yeah, anyone who's got me. And then when they don't do that, just, like, really silently and awkwardly, like, pack your case and walk out without saying a word. I'd never get out the door, man. I swear to it. God. It's like unleashing the dragon. Oh. Before we go for a break, preach. What are your plans for the YouTube channel? We'll talk about that towards the end, guys. What we'll do is we'll take uh, we'll take major questions towards the end of the chat. Uh, we're just basically we get all our bullshit out because we always get sort of wound up before we do the stream. Yeah. So it's better to sort of like vomit words at you, and then we'll take some questions from you guys. Anything you want to ask us, we'll we'll totally take those for you. Okay, so we're going to take a very very quick break, guys, just for two minutes while we refresh our beers, and uh, we'll be straight back. All right, guys. So please stick with us. We'll be back very very soon.